We are in a hotel, we're gonna go and have food, and then it's the athletes meeting. So we saw one of the athletes on the way in, Roberto Rodriguez, unfortunately he doesn't speak an awful lot of English. We don't speak an awful lot of Spanish, but it was really nice to meet him. Very, very friendly guy. Looking forward to meeting some new faces today. It's gonna to be a fun weekend. We've got 14 athletes down. We know most of the guys, obviously, but I do like meeting new up and coming athletes as well. And hopefully we get to introduce them to you guys. I'm on the VIP table. Of course, we have Ivish Fuxer. Hey! Travis has joined us. <laughs> Travis, the Texas Stone Man. He's back in the UK. Ready to, ready to win. Always. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good to see Travis back. You feeling good? I'm feeling as good as I can at this point of the year after the year I had last year. Let's put it that way. <laughs> he has two legs. Yes. I have both of my legs. Is functioning? Yeah. Yeah. Still kicking, still working. Yeah, it was a close call. I just did not have two legs. That was weird. It sucked. But that, and then went home and got fucking... I felt it on the flood moment. Like I think I'm done competing. I got on the plane at 6 a.m. the next morning. Halfway across the Atlantic, I couldn't walk down the highway. By the time I landed, I couldn't walk through the Is this your first competition back? Uh, no, I did one a few weeks ago. He did the uh, yeah. Masters, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Don't mention counted. Masters. He doesn't want yeah, to... Yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. Somebody mentioned he, he was competing in Masters. <laughs> He still feels he's young. <laughs> Spring chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he's the new 30 anyway. <laughs> Speaking of spring chickens, <laughs> Ivers, you only got back from uh, Colorado a couple of days ago and then yes. one day later straight on the plane to England. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel good. good. Surprisingly. I was thinking I will feel much more tired because last year it was like I did also a show classic and after last year I was one week I couldn't get in back I was so tired I didn't want to go and do nothing I just want to sleep this time I feel much better maybe this is looks and uh, Alexi recovery what we did <laughs> <Take help. laughs> yeah, now we need to know. <laughs> it's it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> it, this we can't uh, tell. So we're with Jordan Osborne, who is Australia's strongest man. Jordan, you had quite the journey to get here. So it was a 14 hour flight to begin with, and then a 12 hour uh, like layover. All up was like 32 hours that it took to get here. So yeah, left, left Tuesday and then got here Thursday. So, yeah. <laughs> How is your body feeling after all that travel? Uh, it's not too bad, not too bad. Um, sitting on the plane sort of like this whole time, so my lats a little bit tight, but I'll just roll it out of a cross ball. Yeah. Is this your first international? Yeah. Look yeah. forward to it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And say so after this, you're then going to Finland yeah. for the yeah. Amatra Strongman. Yeah, the Amatra Strongman showdown. So that'd be cool. I think it's awesome. six Finnish guys against six uh, guys from the world. So yeah, that'd be different. Yeah. Yeah. Eight events. <laughs> Big weekend. Yeah. How do you fancy your chances in this show? Like, what? Um, what do you think of the events? Yeah, the events are good. I, I love farmers. Um, I love the log press. So that'd be really good. I think we stay mid pack and the log press and the farmers and then. Yeah, just trying not to come last, really. <laughs> yeah. We're here with Lewis Jack, the current Scotland's strongest man, second in the UK in the You've had a really good year yeah. this year. Made some solid progress. You've kind of seen that um, maturity in your performance over the last year. Definitely. You feeling good for this one? I'm really looking forward to this one. It's obviously my debut at SCL in this uh, international level, so I'm on a good run at the minute. Uh, like you say, UK, Scotland, so I'm hoping to continue it. Have a good performance. There's no real expectation for me, the weekend, I think, which is nice having the sort of pressure off because I can just focus on my performance and do what I want to do. But I think I'll shock a few people and translate some people watching that, that don't know who you are. What kind of events do you, should they be looking out for you? What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the log, deadlift, stones, yeah. all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and do my best at the moving events. The, yeah. Viking, the Viking walk is a bit of an unknown. Yoke's not my thing. 
um, so I don't know how it'll carry over. Um, farmers, my grip's okay, but I think that'll probably catch me out. But those other three events are where I'm hoping to really take some good points. Good stuff, mate. Well, you, it's, a, it's a great competition. You've kind of really made some big progress over the last year. Are you still working with Dale? Yes. That's cool. It's made a huge difference to yeah. him. In the last year, you can see the difference. So, yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, look forward to continuing with him and see where we can get to. Good man. Best of luck, all right? Thank you. So we are just at the athletes meeting, all the athletes nice and fed now and they're going to go through all the rules for different events. Lots of new faces, some of the guys really nervous talking to some of the athletes. First time in big competitions for a number of them. Lots of Jordan had to get, I think six flights he said to get over here. So he's absolutely shattered, he needs a good night's sleep. Uh, we're just going to quickly go through the rules for all the events. And <coughs> Tomorrow it all starts. It's one of the funniest things when you sort of go out and it's like always, always afterwards, and you turn up at a bar or a club and the doorman stood there going up. Yeah. Tiny little doorman with all these monsters walking. There we go, athlete meeting done. Everyone's happy with the events and the rules. All that's left to do now is get there tomorrow and smash it. Looking forward to seeing how this Viking uh, walk turns out. I might try and sneak a go myself, and I keep saying that. Probably get tomorrow and I'll be like, nah. But um, it just looks cool, and I think I'm going to have to try it. Andy's got an issue. The uh, t-shirts only go up to a 3XL. What so size do you, Andy? Um, I hope there's no kids coming tomorrow. 5XL. No breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, yeah. What size do you See, wear, Mika? I think 4XL. You wear 4. Yeah. This is good. I think this is good. Uh, no chance. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> there to? is little, little oh, chance. Stretching. Look at that. That's okay. It's stretchy though. Yours looks tiny. That's tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> look, look at that. Uh, we're going to find this cute. You have Al access. No way to you, Axel. It's going to fit my leg, I think. <laughs> I think it will actually fit me some. He's yep. Sean's going to wear a crop top. A boob tube or something. <laughs> or oh, oh, yeah. right, when I you got your top. <laughs> this is the belly. <laughs> Two XL. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> strong man. This is like normal. Can, be can you go and stand next to Sean? Just sneak. I told you. Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're built like a child. <laughs> Very small, small child. Yeah, you look like yeah, like this. There you go. That's it. That's it. Coming, coming. Yeah, I got it. Get the angle. Get the angle on that's it. That's it. About angle. There we go. There we go. <laughs> a little photo shot. <laughs> it does. It looks like he's on his knees. It's <laughs> not the first time he's been on his knees. <laughs> <laughs>